guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a cage tour of my rat's triple quarter nation. So I haven't done one of these in a while, and I decided to do one today because I have done a sort of Easter slash spring theme. And also I've changed some stuff up, which last time was pretty different. Uh, I typically have my shelves in the same place, even though I moved the other stuff around. So it tends to look fairly similar in terms of layout, but today I changed it and I'm going to show you why uh, at the bottom, but for now I just want to go ahead and start with the top unit right here. So to start you can see an overview right here, and the main two things here are this shelf and this one. So these have yesterday's news in them, which is my typical bedding. And starting right here, this shelf is a storage shelf of sorts that I actually got from a relative. And usually I have it down there. However, right now I have it hung up with these C-clips at the top. And it has a metal cookie tray on top along with some more of the yesterday's news bedding. And then on top of it I have this Savic Karate Space Igloo. Um, it's hollow inside. And right next to it I have this tunnel. You can see that. It's, I think, by the same company. I really like their stuff. Anyways, up here I also have a space pod and a Sputnik, which are actually also the same things. They're from the same place as these. I just really like the hard plastic stuff. It's just so easy to clean and just reuse, which is really nice when you have a lot of stuff that the rats bean, that the rats like to chew up. Use it all bean. Anyways, this one is pink and purple, as you can see, and this one purple. And they're both little pods, they're uh, space pods or Sputniks or whatever you want to call them, and they hang from the top of the cage. And then right next to them you have this Katie Comfort Wheel, this is the 12 inch wheel. And right next to that you have their forging wheel, the larger one, which you can see this is the one I like putting on because it screws on really easily. And right here I have two of the Rats water bottles, this 4 ounce one, whoops, did not mean to do that, and this 8 ounce one along with the bird water bowl, which I have screwed onto the cage bars, right there. And right here I have a bathroom shelf with a shirt on it. Uh, it's an old holy shirt. I like to use my old holy stuff just in the rat cage. And then here you can see two other foraging toys. Uh, I don't think I've discussed them yet, but this is the Oxbow foraging pot. And then this is a DIY version I attempted to make, which is going to feature in a video of mine at some point. And let's see, other than that, okay, we have to move down now. So the first thing you see is this giant pink thing. I see you, Mocha. But yeah, this giant pink saucer thing, and this is from a local Goodwill. I got it a long time ago, and I've never quite figured out what it is. People have suggested a sand sifter or something like that. So just a really cool thing, and I have it hung up with some shower clips. And I also have a space pod bottom right here with some fleece in it and under it. <laughs> Coconut, get off my hand, jeez. And then right here I have a, another food dish. Well, wait, I think that's actually the first one I showed. Anyways, here I have a food dish with some oxbow in it, and that's just hanging from the side. And moving to the back, I have this garden plant holder from the Dollar Tree. And it has one of those little plant things in it. I like to use these a lot. And it's hung up with some C-clips at the bottom of the white shelf. And then at the back I have this food holder hangy thing. Um, it was meant to be a foraging toy, but it's kind of just a hanging food bowl, so that's what I'm using it for. And in the very back, you can see I have two mini shelves. Uh, this is a spice shelf or closet shelf or whatever you want to call it. You can find them at like Lowe's or Home Depot or such. And mine are actually second hand, so I didn't buy them directly from there, but I've seen them at those places. Bean keeps getting on my shoulder. Here's a butt, Bean. You're a little bean butt. Anyways, let's see. Moving down from that, we're going to have to stop. Oh, oh coconut. Careful. We have to stop the coconut escape. That is a bad little nutters. They're too cute. Stay in the cage. I just put them back so they're pretty excited. Anyways, let's move down. So, this here is the reason I moved the white shelf, which used to be here. 
And I'm very excited about this because this is actually part of an old fountain that my neighbor had. And after trying it out during free range and stuff like that, I decided it would work pretty well in the cage. So I've removed any fountain parts and it's basically a big hollow, <laughs> big hollow rock thing. Um, it's made of the same stuff as some of my other rat toys, which are meant for uh, terrariums and like lizards and stuff like that. And they can climb up it, which is really fun. And it also has a hollow section uh, with a little hole on the side. Let's see, I, I don't think you can see it, but I promise you there is a hole back there and the rats can go under it and then they can go inside it. And they really like that because they like to just chill inside there. They've really enjoyed it during free range. So I suspect they're really going to like it in the cage as well. Now I also have the rat's 15 inch chin sprint and that is a really cool metal wheel. Um, it's one of the probably most expensive things in the cage. Sorry, I'm losing coconut and bean. And they really enjoy using it when they're not being little butts and trying to escape. Guys, stay in the cage, please. Oops, sorry, coconut. Now right here we have a barn step-up thing. Uh, it's, I don't know, I think it's called a step-up barn. It's this purple plastic thing and the rats can go inside or walk on it and so forth. Thank you for demonstrating that sugar. Uh, or spice. Who is it? Who are you? Oh, you're spice. You can tell because she has both arms completely furred. Anyways, right here we have this little oxbow bowl. And in the back we have my U sink organizer thing, which is also from Goodwill. Uh, I have a lot of things from Goodwill because it's just such a nice place to get stuff for the rats once you clean it all up. And you can see two Easter buckets hanging on it with some C clips attaching them. And they also have some paper towel in the middle. Stay in the cage! So the rats like to sometimes sleep in there or just jump around in there and so forth. And then on the side, I also have another spice shelf with some fleece binder clipped onto it, along with a foraging toy with some of the rat's normal oxbow in it, and also another food dish with more oxbow in it. And then here I have two more four ounce bottles. Um, I have a lot of these and the rats really like them, so I tend to use them quite a bit. Oh my gosh, they're starting to attract s'more and mocha. Hi, Peachy. No, Peach. Oh, Peach, just get your butt back in the cage. Stay in there, guys. Do not copy Coconut. Do not copy her. No, no, Mocha. Do not do it. Do not do it. This is why I cannot do this with the rattos in the cage unless I have the free range thing out, which I have stupidly not put out yet. Anyways, this is the third unit, which we will sort of speed through because otherwise the rats are going to go ahead and try to all get out. Anyways, I feel like I need to do the top before I open it because you can't really see it from inside the cage. But I have these two Easter baskets, this one here, that one there, and they're both in the Dollar Tree and they're both hung up with these C-clips. And then I also have two more space pods, or a Sputnik and a space pod. Again, they're pretty much the same thing. And this one is pink and purple, and this one's purple. Then I'm going to finally open the cage door. So this is where I put my second shelf for the Critter Nation. And you can see I put it over the dig tank, but here I have some more yesterday's news inside, along with one of these igloos, the Rodney igloo. You can see here what it looks like inside. And then I also have a bucket over there with a door cut out, along with another dish of Oxbow. Now down here, I have a water bottle. Well, actually three of them. I need to refill this one, but the other two are full. And I also have another space pod, stay in the cage, along with another step-up barn, which is also purple, and another of these spice shelves, which again is hung with C-clips and has some felt binder clips onto it. Then finally in the back, we have the dig tank. Get in the cage, get in the cage, get in the cage, get in the cage, get in the cage. No, 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 get in, oh my gosh, bean. No mocha, that is a no. Stay in the cage. Okay, well, like I said, I also have the dig tank in the back and that is a 20 gallon dig tank and I filled it with some crinkle bedding. Get in there, well, crinkle paper. Bean, don't you dare look like that. You know you are a mean little bee trying to get out in the middle of my recording. What are you doing? I see you, mocha, I see you. Don't use your cuteness against me. Don't do it, don't do it. 
Okay, so that is the entire cage, and I'm going to go ahead and close this up before the rats get out. And uh, I need to let them out to free range, like I said, because they're a little bit crazy. Hi, Bean. I see you. No, 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 no. So yeah, that is the entire cage. I'm going to go ahead and get up and show you an overview. Okay, so here is an overview of the cage. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And I'm really glad I got to try a bunch of new stuff, including that fountain thingy down below. I really like to reuse things in my cage that other people don't want or that I can no longer use for something else like that holy shirt. And it just makes it a lot of fun to decorate and just put a bunch of stuff in that I think the rats will like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.